So I just finished my fasted workout. Still can't eat, but I just got sent these strawberries. These are my favorite strawberries. I don't know how this particular company gets the most magnificent strawberries, but they're always consistent in size and flavor. The one main important thing about these is that the strawberry itself is not like gooey, soggy, or like gross on the inside. It's like crunchy. Oh, so good. I need to have a green tea. I need to down the remaining of my water and I need to shower before I can eat. It's only 4 p.m. almost, so I still have some time. I last ate at 11.30 p.m. Oops. So this is my lunch, a bunless waggy burger. I've kind of ruined it with sauce <laughs> and I've overdone it, but you know what? It was my last wagyu patty and I wasn't gonna let it go because A5 Japanese wagyu is the best. It just tastes like regular beef right now because it's been so overcooked. <laughs> so today, hello. I've got an unboxing to do. Hello, Mr. Louie. He's always looking out for the little one. As is Chai, they are honestly best friends. Hello. We've decided to name her, well, <laughs> my mother's decided to name her Yuki, which I believe means snow in Japanese. She has these beautiful eyes. I'm literally just about to save and publish this video, but great, great. All this red shit, not great. Definitely not great. And I've edited this entire video without properly importing my content, so tiny bit of an issue. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've actually been in bed the whole day and I don't think I've spoken to anyone. Just a usual day in my life. Before I go to bed, I want to just show you guys one of my new favorite skincare products, which I'll be using. This is the new Teamy Overnight Ultra Hydrating Face Mask. It's a hydration treatment with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, which I love. I just apply a thin layer all over my face and then I'll show you the results tomorrow. So this is what the product looks like. It's a really thin, lightweight mask. It smells incredible. So I've just applied a thin layer all over my face. I kind of just dab it in with my fingers. It feels fantastic. This is what I wake up to. <laughs> These two are obsessed with each other. Oh no, one of Chai's little curls. You're pulling out my baby's hair. I know it looks like they're fighting, but they're literally, oh, you're squashing her. They're playing. Chai, <laughs> Chai loves hard. <laughs> I could just watch them play all day, honestly. As you guys saw last night, I used the Teamy Overnight Sleep Mask. This is one of their latest products and it is magical. Your skin restores itself overnight when you're asleep, which is why sleep is so important when it comes to having good skin, as well as your water intake. My water intake, it's kind of awful, which is why I need all the help that I can get, which is why the hydrating mask is fantastic. This actually contains a product which everyone has been talking about recently. Nice. Niacinamide. 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 Niacinamide basically promotes collagen production and is vitamin B3. This component actually helps improve your skin barrier. Teeming products are organic, they're 100% vegan, cruelty free, and do not contain artificial coloring. This also contains hyaluronic acid. Now I'm huge on hyaluronic acid. As you guys know, I recently did Profilo. It is an injectable which is solely hyaluronic acid which actually helps plump the skin. This also contains vitamin C which is rich in antioxidants which helps to hydrate, plump and brighten, improve your overall skin tone and texture. It's super lightweight and in the mornings I wake up feeling glowy and fresh. I don't wake up feeling like sticky or like greasy, which is important because a lot of the time overnight masks, they make you feel some kind of way which you shouldn't be feeling. I genuinely feel like my skin feels so much clearer, glowier, brighter. Now I finished my fasted workout. I have not eaten yet. I'm very hungry. I've just done my skincare. If you guys want to find out more about my skincare, then you can check out the video that I did with Harper's Bazaar. I briefly discussed my skincare. My routine hasn't changed. Recently, I've been under a little bit of stress, so that's kind of shown on my face. I also have been lacking in sleep, and the, I know it looks like I've got dark circles, but I'm growing out my lash extensions. I need to get them removed and I'm also applying revital lash to kind of like revitalize my natural lash I'm getting over these extensions. I'm kind of over it I want to talk to you guys about the teamy superfood moisturizer, which I've been using recently You guys saw last night. I applied the overnight mask, which is a fantastic product as you guys can see my skin looks super hydrated and plump 
I'm very pleased. It keeps your skin really hydrated. Your body goes into like a restorative kind of mode. So everything's kind of like restoring itself from the day, which is why sleep is super important. If you're lacking on sleep, your skin is gonna be lacking as well, which is why skincare is important too, because you need to help it, which is why this mask is fantastic. I have very reactive skin, which is why I like to stick to natural products. And the Teamy Superfood Moisturizer is a daily lightweight cream, which doesn't actually leave your skin feeling sticky, oily, greasy. It looks amazing under makeup and it actually just soaks into your skin so nicely, deep inside into your pores, hydrates you, plumps you up. It contains matcha, which is why it's green. You guys know I'm already obsessed with their superfood face mask. I love it. I wore it in my last video. I use it probably about once a week, but this is a daily cream which I use. You should be using moisturizer daily. I apply this in little dots all over my face and then I massage it into my skin. It just feels so so good. It honestly smells incredible. Just rub it into my skin plump it up. This also contains avocado, which is rich in vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin A. You get like an instant glow. It feels fresh. Moisturizer also contains hemp, which gives you moisture without clogging your pores, which is very important. It's one issue I really have suffered with when it comes to skincare is products which clog my pores. And that's what kind of creates the little bumps that I've previously had. There's no artificial coloring, no artificial fragrance, and they're cruelty free. If you guys want to check out these Teamy products, you can check out the link in the description box below as well as use my code to get some money off. This is literally the worst cough of vlogging. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to hold it. Today, guys, showed you a little snippet of my morning. Literally just my cat and my dog playing. I was on my way to another appointment and they had to cancel, unfortunately. I was gonna go for an IV drip, but I'm just filling up gas and now I have time to get a coffee. In fact, yeah, it's like 3 p.m. I know I said I wasn't gonna wear my Apple Watch as a daily watch, but you guys are right. 30 minutes on the treadmill, walking, does not get you to 10,000 steps. But I don't do 30 minutes. I just wanna let you guys know I do at least an hour. I do like a fast paced, like I do like a jog for 30 minutes and then I do a really fast paced walk and like interval training for about an hour every day. Uh, that kind of gets me up to about like 8,000 steps. If you guys are trying to stay focused when you're on the treadmill and you absolutely hate treadmill walks, because I personally did, what I do is I watch a TV show. I'll literally put my AirPods in and watch a TV show. YouTube videos I can't really get into because it's just too fast paced. I have to watch like a TV show where it's consistent and I don't have to stress about what's coming up next. I recently started watching a series called The Bold Type which is about three girls working for a fashion magazine. It is pretty interesting, not gonna lie. It reminds me of when I used to intern for a fashion magazine. Yes. According to Do Fasting, I don't know if you guys checked it out, I recommend it in my last video. I can now start eating and end my fast. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. There is a McDonald's and a Subway in front of me, but I will not be doing that. Guys, I just came to Costa to grab a coffee and I realized there's a Wendy's next door and I've never tried Wendy's. So I'm gonna ask you now on Instagram what is the best thing to order from Wendy's because I'm about to break my Wendy's virginity with you guys. I went out on my way to park up on the side of the road to discuss with you guys what I should order from Wendy's. Everyone is saying, don't order, it sucks, nothing. Don't do it. What do I get? What's a frosty? Chocolate frosty and dip your fries into it. Sounds gross, but it is not worth the calories. Nuggets, frosty, beefinator combo meal, strawberry lemonade, water. Right, you know what? It's just not the day today. We're not gonna get Wendy's. No, let me at least get fries. No, let me think about this because I only have a very limited calorie intake today. No, you know what? I'm doing it because I'm gonna go for a run. I don't care. We're gonna get fries. I have calories to add and then I will burn them. I'll burn the calories, it's fine. But I'm not gonna deprive myself. Where's the drive through Oh, there it is. Okay, it's completely empty and dead. Love that. Okay, um, I went through the drive through and it sent me to the exit. <laughs> I think it's a sign, it's not meant to be. Don't waste the calories. We're not gonna waste calories on Wendy's. I really wish Burger Fuel was open. Everyone just let me pass. Oh. Now I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I now want fries. Are there any other fast food places I haven't tried in Dubai? Update. Um, one, I tied my hair up because even though I washed it yesterday, it's greasy and I tried to add like dry shampoo. I put the living proof one in because you guys recommended it It is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, but 
no it did not help me today two my hands are super dry because i just keep sanitizing and yes i do use hand moisturizer and hand cream but it's not helping so it's another issue i'm struggling with today i'm just having an overall bad day i was hungry and then i had a coffee i'm now drinking my iced spanish latte from costa i did drive past starbucks thinking maybe i should get the matcha latte or a green tea and then I was like no this will fill me up for a few hours I'm gonna go home now change because I'm wearing a skirt and I'll probably get carded if I go to the mall and by carded I mean I'll get please dress more appropriately card which is totally fine my shoulders and knees are showing so it's probably not the best outfit to wear to the mall for those of you that don't know a lot of you guys actually asked me about dress code in Dubai it's so it's so chilled we're super relaxed here however if you are gonna go to public places like the mall or places which are not on the beach you should be respectful to the country it's an islamic country and dressing modestly is the law it's freezing inside anyways so you know you don't really want to be wearing nothing <laughs> these sunglasses are from bottega if you're wondering i'm back home it's just so bright Shh. i've just received some new product samples which i need to go through for the new collection of the petite i need to check measurements make sure everything looks good and then we're gonna go ahead and I've decided we're gonna start production prior to releasing so that when the first few people order they'll be able to get their orders out quickly because uh, it's just been too long honestly it's it's really hard I underestimated how many orders there would be and I don't have enough staff producing so we've had to hire more tailors and more staff and it's crazy I mean touch wood business is going really well I want to make sure that you guys are getting your orders in time right now it's a little bit slow and it's frustrating me because there's nothing I can physically do so I'm back at Chanel but this is Dubai Mall this is where she picks up she actually gets me the best stuff these are the jeans I want to try there's a new collection I saw these pants are very similar to the Gucci ones I want to try those on she also bought me these I don't own flip flops these could be a vibe this piece um no I tried this on at actually the black's not bad I think I prefer the black to the white and this this is so cute Listen, I know I said I wasn't a healthy diet, but I walked past Texas Chicken. The minimum order for biscuits is six pieces. I literally wanted one, but if they're going to offer me six, why not? And oh my god. If you haven't tried these, oh, they're like heaven. Little pillowy, doughy, sweet. Oh my god, what's this? Ew. Wow. Okay, so I just got home and I'm gonna unbox this little item that I picked up from Chanel. <gasps> oh my god, I love that. Honestly, it looks like it's got baguettes on it. It's so beautiful. Not really appropriate for the Dior event tomorrow, but it's fine. Picked up some Dior shoes. Okay, I was supposed to do a proper unboxing of these, but really, they're not that special. And I need them today, right now. I'm running a little tiny bit behind schedule for my Dior event, so let's just go through this. It's shocking that I don't have these. <laughs> my mother has them, in literally every color, but I needed them for my outfit because the other black ones that I have didn't have the white in them and I really wanted the white in them. Before I end this video, I just want to quickly select a winner for the competition I did with my Instagram followers. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you can check it out on the side. 293 comments with minimum two mentions, which was the criteria. So let's go and pick a random winner. And then I can publish it and then you guys need to contact. Oh, congratulations. And that is... Yay! I hope you like your present, babe. <laughs>